I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Florence Nightingale, who was the founder of Modern Nursing. I'm writing this so I don't forget what I'm doing. Modern Nursing, and they called her the Lady with the Lamp. Now, we're going to start way over here on the upper right hand side, put two fingers and then put a dot. And from that dot, we're going to draw a curve line down, curve line in, curve line and leave it floating. Come back to the dot, curve line out, curve line in, and connect. Right here on the left, we're just going to put a little straight diagonal and then a big curve line up over little straight diagonal in starting right underneath we're just going to draw a wavy 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 line all the way around come right here in the center where our dot was we're just going to draw a curve line to the left curve line to the right come down to the bottom little straight line on the left little straight line on the right slightly curved line connect come over on this section on the right and we're just going to draw a wavy wavy line connect come on the left wavy wavy line connect come inside the space draw one curved line two curved lines left and right come back to the left straight line curve line up connect straight line curve line up connect on the right just come in and fill in a little dot and a little dot come right here in the center straight diagonal little curve line come down below little curve line underneath okay now come down to this section and we're just going to draw a little curve line in on the left, little curve line in, on the right, baby circle in the middle. Come back to the left, straight diagonal, wavy, wavy line up, straight diagonal on the right, wavy, wavy line up, and connect. Okay, so this is Florence Nightingale. I'll write that down here. Florence Nightingale. And the reason why she was called the Lady with the Lamp is because there was a huge war in the Crimea and she would go between the wounded in their beds carrying a lamp at night to make sure that everybody was okay. I thought the lamp was very interesting. So right here, let's put two fingers and a dot. We're going to draw the lamp. It's fascinating. I'm going to draw a curve line up, down, and leave it floating. Right underneath I draw a baby circle and a baby circle inside. I come on the right hand side and I draw a curve line down and up. Come on the left hand side, curve line down and up. Stop, starting right where I stop, curve line up, connect on the left, curve line up, connect on the right. Come back up to the top, now we're just going to mimic this line, curve line, straight line down, connect. Right underneath, we're going to draw a flat oval, jump over, continue the line in the center, little straight line on the left, little straight line on the right curve line connect come in a little bit and we're just going to draw wavy 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 line down to about there on the left wavy 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 line down on the right come back to the left we're going to draw curve line over connect 
little straight line on the left, little straight line on the right, curve line over, and connect. Come back inside and we're just going to draw a curve line down, slightly curve line down, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, and connect. Okay, because I want it to look like it is shiny, I'm just going to do a zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. All right, let's see how we are going to color this in. Okay, we're going to color Florence in first, and it's pretty easy because they did not wear any color, or she didn't wear any color. So you can do dark hair, black or brown, but I did black. Come down, this is hair, so that's black and black. And then this would be a band that she would wear around her necklace, which I'm just going to leave white right here, okay? Now, I'm going to come back in, and if you have multicultural crayons, just so she doesn't look so white, I'm going to put in some apricot or peach coloring. And <clears throat> her uniform was pretty much this, black, white, black, white. No color, okay? We're gonna, this is her bonnet, this is her collar. We're gonna leave all of that alone, okay? Now we come over to the lamp. The first thing I'm gonna do is color in, these parts are metal. So I'm gonna do yellow on these spaces. This top oval is brass or metal. So I'm going to do yellow there, and down here at the bottom, this is metal. So I'm going to do that yellow also. Then, because I want it to look like it's shining, I'm just going to put some straight lines of yellow going around the lamp. Okay. Then, because I want it to look kind of brass, metal, I'm going to take my brown and lightly, not too dark, lightly color over the metal part so it looks like brass. I'm pretty sure that's probably what they used to hold the lantern. So this is a light coating of brown over the yellow. Now I'm not exactly sure what the lamp lantern part was. So I'm thinking it was like an oil cloth so I'm going to make it gray, lightly, not too dark because it looks kind of white, whitish gray. That could just be because it's old. Okay, there she is, Florence Nightingale, Lady with the Lamp. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is Florence Nightingale all colored in. What you have to remember is, is that when wounded soldiers were brought down into the hospital, they could die from diseases and bacteria from the hospital because they weren't clean and they weren't safe places to be. Florence Nightingale knew intuitively that everything needed to be cleaned up and she's the one that did it. Plus, she also founded modern nursing so women could work inside the hospitals. Very famous. Okay. Bye-bye.